In this video, we are going to learn how to control an old Simmons SDS-8 electronic drum brain using the computer with Ableton 8 and Max for Live. Now, as you can see here, the Simmons drum brain was uh, originally meant for drum pads, and the SDS-8 was not meant to be uh, hooked up to a sequencer. It doesn't have a MIDI input, unfortunately. Uh, so the only way to sequence one of these would be through another expensive analog device such as a Roland 808 or another drum machine with multiple outputs because it requires uh, an on and off audio switch from a quarter inch cable. Uh, and there's five different inputs. So, uh, what we're going to do, or what we have done, is soldered five different um, quarter-inch audio jacks to audio wire. And those are connected to this device, which is called the Teensy. And each one, each of the five audio cables are connected to a different pin on the Teensy. Pins zero through four, which makes five. That's connected US via, via USB to our MacBook. We're controlling it with Maxwino. If you go to maxwino.org, it has the download for the Max for Live instrument. And you select TNZ under hardware, and that will give you your digital pin outputs. And we soldered them to 0 through 4, so we're going to change 0 to 4 to output mode. And then we're going to go into the roll editor in the same track and 0 through 4 will be all the way down on C2 to E2 and hit play turn the device on and as we can see here the it's lighting up so that means Max we know is each of the five channels